Hello everyone, welcome to techto.com. In this lecture, we will be configuring MySQL for our experiments and we will be creating some experimental database. Okay, so and we will also download the dump which I have provided on the website techto.com and you will import it so that we can do experiments on it. Fine. Now, to start with, we have to install MySQL. So, what we will do if you are using Windows, Windows operating system, there is a package called WAMP. WAMP. Okay. So, you can download, you can search it. Uh, WAMP is a well known package of Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Okay. So, you can download and install basically you will get installer and it's just click click installation fine so install vamp if you are using linux or ubuntu search for package lamp so if you have installed synaptic manager on ubuntu inside that you can search for lamp fine so it will be installing linux on apache mysql and php fine and if you are using Mac, you can search for MAMP. Fine. So these are packages you can install. So these are packages you can just install and start using it. Okay. And all are free. Fine. As MySQL is open source, so it is free to use and even modify. Fine. So in my case, I have installed and my system is ready. So once the system is ready, you download this database tectured tectured underscore imdb. So basically, uh, this database is having imdb data which was crawled last year, and I crawled it from imdb website for some uh, project use, and it has information about Bollywood movies. Okay, so we will some do some interesting experiment over it so you download this file and install it uh, and I mean keep it in your uh, directory and then we will import it so to import it first of all you can see here on my screen I am inside a directory tectoed and I have database tectoed underscore imdb dot sql right so to import it first of all what you have to do is you have to go to you have to log into SQL and create a database okay where you will import this given database fine first you have to create a home then you will bring hosts right so first I have to log into MySQL and then I have to create database so to log in if you are using Mac you can give this path and then hyphen u admin hyphen p otherwise if you are on linux you can use mysql hyphen u root hyphen p directly okay and if you are on windows you can directly even with interface you can import this okay so what i'll be using is this once you enter it will ask for password so you enter your password I'll enter mine fine so now see you can see here MySQL so you are basically logged into MySQL interface fine now first of all what would you like to do you would like to see how many databases are already there so to see how many databases are already there what you will do you will type show databases okay so see these are the databases which are already there on my local mysql server fine now i have to first create a database so to create database what i'll do create fine here this create and database I have typed in uh, capital but it's not necessary MySQL or SQL is a case insensitive language so you can type without caps also okay so see it is saying okay and 
this much is the time it has taken to do this task so now my database is created I can see it again so see here I have take underscore IMDB created fine so now my database is database is created now I can import data into it okay so data will contain schema definition that is tables and the data inside those those tables so now I have to quit from MySQL so inside this directory I have this database to import this what I'll do is I will hyphen p and then the database name which I had I have just created so it is tick to underscore i m d b then this less than sign and then the database name this one take to skip press enter it will ask for password enter your password wait for some time because it made a, yeah it is done fine so now my database is imported to the database which I had created so you have imported data to it fine okay so this was all about this lecture in next lecture we will be I mean next illustration we will be doing more experiment so up to here you should be I mean you should keep your system ready for further experiment yes if you are on Linux system you will type mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and then the database which we have created that is take to underscore i am db and then the same thing this one okay so this will work for your linux basically in my case i have not created uh, aliasing for this whole thing this whole once i create aliasing i mean alias for this i can also use this mysql command fine so this is fine for now and in windows you can directly uh, import for uh, from interface or otherwise you can search for it how you can do it so keep your system ready for next experiment in the upcoming lectures thanks for watching